Hey there, Sharon horn from here. Welcome to day 162 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. We're doing one thing every day this year to get what we want. I found over the decades that I've been here on planet Earth that if I do one little thing every day to move me toward what I want, getting what I want becomes inevitable. It's just going to happen. It might take longer than I first anticipated. There's going to be bumps along the way, but I'm going to get what I set my mind on. So this month we're focusing on financial well-being, financial health, financial goals. And as part of that, I want to talk about every day for probably seven or eight days, key indicators of our financial well-being, our financial health, things we want to consider as we are setting our financial goals and getting our financial goals. And yesterday we talked about income and I just decided this time going through that I would focus on monthly income. What are all the sources of income we currently have or would like to have with respect to income? Also, or that we'd like to know more about. Now today we're gonna to talk about expenses because that's a key indicator as well. Money coming in is really important, but what is our money going out to? You know, we can have habits that encourage us to achieve our financial goals or we can have habits that chip away at our financial goals, right? If we take risks and make a bunch of bad investments, it's going to chip away at our financial nest egg or whatever things that we're trying to accomplish in our financial life, our financial health. So we want to consider our expenses. So I'm going to, and I'm going to say you're going to too, because that's our action item today, is just to list out all of our, I'm, I'm doing monthly, but some things will be annual. Like I pay my home insurance annually, so I'm going to divide that by 12 so that I've got that in there. Things like taxes and, and mortgages, you know, you can figure out what the monthly amount of that is. Or you can do it annually. I don't care. Just write them all down. And I just wrote down a couple to get me started. You know, home, insurance, utilities, phone, transportation, auto, medical, prescriptions, food, entertainment, clothes, uh, anything else you spend money on on a regular basis you want to track. My kids drink Red Bull, so they should actually track how much they spend a month on Red Bull. I think they would be flabbergasted. Now, expenses are all the things that we spend money on, money going out of our life, right? And we all know what expenses are. Uh, a lot of times people confuse assets with expenses and um, assets and liabilities. But that's a topic for another day. Today, we're going to keep it super simple. It's Sunday and we want to have an awesome day. It looks beautiful out here where I am. So I'm going to go for a walk as soon as I'm done with videos. But what are you spending your money on? And be brutally honest. Maybe if you've never done this before, it's one of the most powerful exercises I've ever done, is you carry around a little notebook and every time you spend any money, any money, I mean 50 cents here, a dollar there, five dollars here, seven dollars on the Starbucks coffee, whatever it is, you write it down, you jot it in the notebook. And if you do that for a week, if you're brave, you'll do it for two weeks or an entire month, you'll find out exactly where your money's going. And guess what? There's something about if you have to write it down, you, sec you say, okay, well, do I really need that second or third coffee today that I'm buying at the drive-thru? Or could I can I just go home and have a cup out of the Keurig, right? <laughs> so it actually may helps us be more conscious of the spending that we're, made, we're doing, and it helps us to make better choices, which usually moves us more quickly and easily toward our financial goals. Any questions about this, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have fun paying attention to and tracking your expenses today. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.